Hello and welcome to another stream with me, Super Notus. Uh, another good Red Redemption 2. I'm um, just need to do one quick thing, which is just to upload. Uh, upload. Um, sorry, just put a little location to Twitch so that people know that I am live. Just one sec. I will be with you just one sec. Sorry, I really this is pretty boring for you. Oh, sorry. Let's get on with uh, playing the game now. I've managed to get everything sorted. And hopefully you guys will join me. So yeah, uh, yesterday obviously we, we started the whole uh, quest with uh, Bo Grey and I've forgotten the name of the other, of the girl. Uh, which is basically like a Romeo and Juliet kind of story because both of their families are at war. Uh, have been for generations I guess. And are just wanting to, to kill each other all the time, you know? So, uh, we've got to pick a side, apparently. Now, the Greys... Oh yeah, by the way, we are in uh, San Denis just now. Uh, just kind of like the, the main kind of big city in this part of the map. Uh, where's my horse? Over this way. Uh, at the moment, because I just did a little bit of wandering around just to see a few things that were going on. Oh, I don't want to get caught up in the wheels. Uh, and this town seems quite interesting. There's like a couple of theatres. There's all sorts of little bits and pieces here. Uh, so it's an interesting little town. I'm hoping that my horse is going to be close enough now to come to me. Because what we need to do now is head off to here. Now, I was thinking about this earlier and trying to decide which side I should take. I don't know if I have to pick one side or another. Uh, but I think I'm going to work with John... Uh, to help the Greys, because um, I don't work with the Greys, they know who I am, they're letting us uh, st stay around roads without any trouble. Uh, and they seem to have a bit more of the power around there, so I feel like it would be sensible to continue to help them. Plus the Braithwaites, who are the, the, the... Yeah, I suddenly remember their name. The Braithwaites, who are like the other family, they're horrendous. They're like properly horrible. And I'm pretty sure they... Uh, I'm pretty sure that they uh, laid a trap for us in that last mission where we, where we were like, you know, feeding a lot of people alcohol, moonshine that we'd stolen from them. Yeah, my horse is moving, so it must be on its way. Let's let's head back towards where it is. There he is. So I've, de I've got a different horse, different saddle, different all sorts of stuff. Because I was playing through, kind of just free roaming around uh, earlier. And my horse died. In fact, what happened was it, it, it drowned. 
and so I had to find another one. Bearing in mind that while I was doing that, I was over here, stuck right in the middle of nowhere, up there somewhere, uh, and ended up having to, oh yeah, and there's some weird sacrifice up there, I uh, having to ride all the way back from there to there. I also cleared up some of this and looked at these islands, but there's nothing on them. Seems kind of pointless. I reckon you could put some somebody's little house on there. But there was nothing like that, so that was quite dull. Uh, anyway, let's get on with our mission. I uh, didn't find any really interesting side quests. There's a guy that's looking for stone carvings. Uh, and to me, the way he speaks and all the rest of it, it looks like he's travelled back in time. I don't know if that's actually what's happened, so we'll have to maybe look at that at some point. Uh, for that, we need to find wood carving, st wood carving, stone carvings on rock faces and the like. Uh, it might take me a while to find those, so we'll see. We'll see how uh, how easy that quest is, and if we come across them, obviously we will uh, write down where they are and send. We're supposed to send a letter off to the guy once we've done that. So yeah, we'll give that a try. But right now, let's head off and uh, make a start on this quest with the Greys, who to me seem to be the lesser of two evils. Plus I'm pretty sure we'll probably be like, not allowed in the town if we... Uh, Take the Braithwaite side. So I don't know if we... So as, as I say again, I don't know if we have to uh, pick a side. If... Oh. Well. Come on, you silly horse. Gap. Sometimes that seems to happen for no reason at all. You just... The horse will just suddenly turn. Anyway, yeah, as I was saying... Uh, I don't know if you have to pick sides, maybe you get to do both missions, potentially, that would be okay. Can I, help uh, you there? Sure. I have to pick a side. Those supposed to be my business partners here. They yeah. Changed a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar... Meeting about horses. Out by the stables. Thank you. Hey, thanks very much, guys. Have a wonderful day now. And let's go this way and see what it, see what it is exactly that we're doing. Yeah, but you know, let's have a look at this quest. Let's see what's happening with this quest. At that point, we can decide. And we just ride right into a telegraph pole. I think it's a telegraph pole, is it? Yeah, it must be. They're good men. John and, uh... And everywhere, there's trouble. Why can I not remember his name right now? And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. Hello. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with the family. His, uh, chops and moustache are getting a bit, getting quite big now. Hag and her inbred sons. They ruined his Yeah, well. They killed my uncle, you know. Just seem pretty horrible. The problem is we can't be seen to get too close. And so, what exactly do you want us to do? Gold, Yankee, we've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My dad <laughs> came over on a boat from Scotland. Ain't Scott. nothing. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaite's goddamn peasants. <laughs> These guys really don't like each other, huh? Really don't like each other. Look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Prized horses. Five thousand. Five thousand for horses. Easy. Where do yeah, we okay. Sell if you say so. Over in Clemens Cove. No, over there we'll run them out of state and give you fifty cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Sounds like not a bad deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. 
My sense is we keep yeah, yeah. the horse wrestling away from the public. Found a pirate hat on a boat as well, the tricorn. Which I thought was quite good. Uh, I want to see if I can go through my hats though. So yes, I've got a tricorn, got the big valley hat. The hat I wanted was that Paragon Town hat just now. Because I quite liked that hat, I thought it went with the outfit I was wearing, but then so did the tricorn. I think. So let's change to it, because I quite like it. I quite like the idea. With the long coat. Kind of makes some sense. Can you not run into me, please? Javier. Now I remember who it was. It's Squilla, isn't it? Javier. Yep, they better. Don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. So yeah, th this is the question I had because we've got. We've been robbing the wrong. Uh, yeah. Jose and some people who are uh, taking on the mission a bit further away. And I'm not sure. Is this... Okay, well let's see how that works out for us. Yes, you would. Yes, you would. Surely you take weapons with you for any of these kinds of things, you'd think. Just to be on the safe side in case someone decides to just take your money. Keep the horses. Well, let's see. Let's see where it takes us. Just going to make sure I've got all my weapon resorted out. Found a semi-auto shotgun, but I think the double barrel shotgun's the better option. Why? Oh my goodness. I've ended up going sideways. And let's not bring a knife to a gunfight. Yeah. Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never yeah. heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some Can I just throw like a throwing knife at him or something? But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Yeah, let's just turn around, guys. Okay then, let's head on up to the stables. Thanks, buddy. Someone will come see you. Good news. Good deal. Although, I get a feeling that uh, we're going to be on a mad dash in a moment with a herd of horses. Come on. Really? Don't ride into me. Yeah, we don't want to. Go thundering in here, drawing unnecessary attention, as he says. What are we doing? I mean, yeah, we've got to steal some horses and then sell them on. Okay, but how much trouble is it going to be to even get these horses? Hitch up around the front of the stables. Sure thing. Alright, let's hitch up here. Good plan. Hitch up our horses. Let me do the talking. And we'll talk to the stable hand. Who's probably gonna tell us to get lost. Let's be honest, you would too if you were harboring some very expensive horses. Yeah. Fine horses, I mean. I don't if you have stables, you must have horses. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! Huh. I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Yeah. Come on now, partner. 
Okay, fine. Follow me. Let's see what he's got to say. Let's see what we, he's got to show us. Okay. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous stable and stud farm. Saratoga. That's so. Unofficially. Of course. Yeah. This here's There we go, nice and easy. Take out the stable hound. Don't need nobody recognizing us. Alright, I'll grab the white one in the middle, you get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy now. You're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Take it easy there. <laughs> See if we can get this horse to get moving. You're okay. That's it, boy. That's the way. So we got the horse going, moving okay. Marston, you ride point. Cover up the back if there's any problems. Regroup at Clemens Cove. Good plan. What are you doing? Let's go. Well, of course, there's going to be problems. Here we go. Get going, you two. Oh, what the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! Right out. Let's get the heck out of here. So we're going to try and protect ourselves. Let's go right in. One down. Another one down. Let's keep right in. There we go. Get take these guys all out. Well, they didn't really, because that guy's dead. This gun's pretty good at taking them out quickly, so... But we'll probably have police on us after we've done this too. Because we've just rustled a load of horses. Don't think we did. He says we lost them, I doubt it. Maybe we did. He can go. He can go. Oh, ride. Ride. Oh, you silly horse. There we go. They weren't quite getting them, but I did. Well, let's just keep moving, just in case, eh? Let's not just assume they're not following us. No, don't... What in the world? I chose the lasso and I ended up pulling my gun on him. Come on, you're okay. That's it, come on. Let's go a bit quicker. Not too much, but a little bit quicker. I hope I don't have to go too far with this horse. Because that would be annoying. If we don't have to go too far, that would be alright. Yeah, looks like we didn't have to go that far after all. Clemens Cove is just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. Yeah, okay. Well, if you say so. That could have gone smoother. That'll be on my Well, we don't know how smooth it's gonna go yet until we've got our money, do we? Come on. You A lot of vibration. Like 
on my uh... oh great we're about to get bushwhacked I think or if not we're about to find some people who are not interested in uh, paying us anything for these horses also I think this horse really doesn't like my leading him it was fighting back against me the whole way. Heard you was, uh, heard you pay good prices for horses. Yeah. We'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That's so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davids. Cool. That's my brother Fly. We're twins. John. Great. Arthur. Javier. So what are you? Cuban? No, I don't like Cuban. Well, it's just as well he's not Cuban then, eh? Well, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're <clears> funny. <throat> he's funny. Ain't he Maybe he does. Clive, don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. Came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Mm, yeah. Sure. Yeah. If you say so. They ain't yours, but I like you. I'll give you, oh, here we go. I'll give you 654. 650. I was told we could get up to five thousand dollars for him. But I was told the boon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But mm -hmm. I like you boys. But I ain't got more than seven hundred on me. You want oh well, then I'll go and sell someone else. Into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no yeah. more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. I'm gonna beat you for the rest of it. Ain't no one around here got five thousand dollars, boys. But nice meeting you. See you boys again. I hope. Well, you guys are gonna get shot for having those horses, so it's fine by me. Whose idea was that? That was a terrible idea. Yeah, they're not as believable as. Uh, Right, want us to think. It's 700 bucks. Which means I get $116. Woohoo. So, yeah, that mission was basically worthless. Uh, plus, you know, if these guys have got so much gold, why do they need me to go and do that? It's just annoying. Uh, so, before I do Hosea's quest, let's go and uh, see what Dutch has to say for himself. Oh yeah, I've pretty much fully upgraded this camp. Uh, there's not really much needing changed. Much needing added. The only thing we need to do in future is just restock, basically. I do hate the fact that when you're in your camp, it takes you forever to walk anywhere. See what Dutch wants. Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. I meant about... What Sounds about right. About these I'm not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until we know more, ain't too much I reckon those bounty hunters are probably the ones that got, uh, what's his name, Cornwall on us. It's just a little while after, after they find me, suddenly they're all over the place. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out in secrets. <laughs> I don't think so. So we're going to go to Charles, who doesn't appear to be on the... Oh no, he's over there. Okay. So yeah, we'll do this mission that Dutch is suggesting we do. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Yeah, let's ride out. Okay. Let's mount up and get moving. There's my new horse, I've also given it, uh, got a new saddle, fully upgraded that. And yeah, I called my horse William for some reason, but you know. Just gave it a random name. First one that came to my head. This way. Oh, need to wait. Oh yeah, slow down. 
wants us to have a talk, talk with Trelawney. About these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. For now. Something like that. As soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was going <laughs> to play him like a fiddle. Play him like a fiddle. As it turns out, they did the same ties as well with some decidedly cheap horses. For now. Spirits seem good in the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. Yes, they do. Yeah. We might see more Pinkertons. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. They don't have the money. Trelawney. I've only met him a couple times, but he's he's a strange one. Good. Sometimes strange people are easy enough to deal with, sometimes they're not. We'll have to wait and see. When he gets into nooks and crannies, the rest of us can't. We just need to find him before he scurries off again. He'll probably scurry off again any minute. Right, so let me just check something. Where is Trelawney? Oh yeah, he's just up ahead. Well, that's okay then. Here we go. Head out to Trelawney's caravan. Let's just get off and uh, walk the rest of the journey. This is his caravan here, apparently. Let's go see if he's here. It looks like there's some stuff here to take a look at. A note, at least. What's that say? Tacitus Kilgore Mining Company. This is certified that so-and-so is the holder of so many shares, inclusive in the above company, subject to the provisions of memorandum. So it's like a share issue. Okay. That's exciting, I suppose. What else have we got? There's a clue. What's the clue? Barely touch the food. Left quick. Bed's not made, so he must have been here recently. Bed's not made, must have been here recently, or you know, he never makes his bed. I mean, that's another possibility. Anything else at this table? He's got a bedroll there that means he's probably not out on the road anywhere. Got a drawer here to check. Oh, we can take a cigar, but there's nothing else really of note there. That table's like glowing, but it's not actually doing anything. Get out of my way, Charles. Big struggle. Pretty recently, I'd say. So. Looks like maybe. Oh, there's a clue somewhere. This is kind of frustrating, you know, trying to. Try to find all the stuff. The trail of blood goes that way. Okay. Something tells me I'm focusing on the wrong tracks. Right, let's follow these tracks. They went down the path here. Let's see where they take us. All right, I guess. <laughs> I'm pretty good at tracking, yeah. Yeah, well, he only just got released by 
money to get Sean. The police, so. I swear, he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. They could be 20 miles away by now. They could be. Desperately, would be how much we want to find them. Well, path goes into there. No. Yeah, looking for a friend. I don't think he's here. <laughs> I didn't say he was. Ah, uh, you seen a strange sort of feller. Strange sort of fella. Formal. Sort of formal. Strange. Sure. Formal. No. No. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Hmm. Hey guys, are you lying to us? Oh really? You're gonna try and cheap shot me, are you? What's this guy doing? You gonna beat him? That's better. Good job. Let's interrogate this guy. See exactly what he's up to. He's a bounty hunter. One of the ones that's probably after us. Don't you? What if I punch you? Tell me where he is. You go to hell. You better tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay, okay, for Christ's sake. Well then, tell me. They took him to a cabin over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there. Oh, cornfields by Braithwaite Manor. Do we choke him? I feel like doing that. We're not going to kill him, but we're going to make sure he's not chasing us anywhere. So apparently he's over by Braithwaite Manor. That's like twice we'll have gone there within the last few minutes. Am I allowed to go there actually? I haven't looked at that. Yeah, no, I'm not in the red for stealing horses. Oh, all sorts of things. None of them good. Exactly. So we'll be okay though, guys. He's loyal. Or at least he makes us think he is. Yeah, that's the question. Is he really? Just are we supposed to be tracking him again? <laughs> yeah. Let's see what he's got to say about Trelawney himself. How much time have we wasted getting him out of trouble? Presumably quite a lot. Yeah. Yeah, he seems like he's a useful person. But then maybe as well, they're saying whenever he, they, they feel like kind of loose, suddenly he gets something big. You don't think he's planted in the gang, do you? In order to feed information to people. Does he sell himself to the highest bidder? I guess we won't know the answer. Anytime soon. Or we might find out just in a minute. You know. Hmm. 
Where are we going exactly, anyway? Set over by Braithwaite Manor, I mean, we're pretty much entering Braithwaite land, but... Where exactly are we going? Oh, looks like we found where we're going. Oh, bit of a fight going on there. Hey guys, how you getting on? Nice uh, gold son of shotgun. Yeah, barely. Okay. See if we can't get some headshots. I'm too close. I'm sorry, I'm too far away, should I say. Oh, it's because I've got shotgun as my, uh... As my weapon. Where are they? Over where the birds are. Stop hiding, I can't see anybody. No trails either. Gonna get away. Let's find them. Where? Let's see where we can if we can find where they are. We can find where the birds are flying up. Get the hell out of here while you still can. You where are they? You. you made a big mistake messing with us. Did I? Well, why don't you come out and tell me about it? We need to find these bastards. The there. Somebody's here. There we go, that's one down. Next. Where? There's one over here. There's somewhere here. The thing is, it was really hard for me to actually see the guy. Probably like a cross pattern to chase them. There. Ooh, that was a nasty looking shot. Just loot his body. And there's some birds moving. There we go. Why would my gun not out there? There was a guy right here a second ago. Where are the birds? If I'm where the birds are, we'll find where the guy is. I think he thinks they're over here. Hey! I see something on the ground over here. He's dumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone. Dumped his gear. Do I see anything if I go into that mode? No. Can I see anything at all? Could be anywhere. But it looks like it's suggesting he has to be within this area. There he is. Looks like I found him. Oh, what's he doing? Trying to trap me. 
Just shoot him in the head. Do it fast. Ah, uh, throw a knife, perfect. Come on. Good touch. You should have, yeah. Well, maybe I should see what money. Oh. Maybe I should see what money he was talking about. Oh, looks like we're going to have to fight some more people. I need that gun. There we go, that's that one down. Oh, we're going inside now to find the last one, I guess. Probably... Probably a... Rifle isn't much use inside. Where's he firing from? Up down here or upstairs? Where is he? There we go. I think he's dead. Definitely dead now. Sorry, I didn't realise it was going to be as brutal as that. Whoops. <laughs> That was a bit nasty looking. Uh, guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this can't long. catch a break? I we don't know. Worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. <laughs> yeah, the kind of uh, explosion of his head was a little surprising to me. <laughs> I hope you're right. But just because of how much it popped. He looks like he's in pretty bad shape. Bounty, hunter. bounty hunters looking for us, presumably. Looking for me, per se. What you tell him? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Well, they aren't tied to their boss anymore. Stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. You're not kidding. It might be best if I stay with you, gentlemen, for a while. Maybe you should. Go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. Yep. See you later, guys. Right. So that's that done then. I guess. There always seems to be more, more and more civilization. More and more civilization. What is this, a Jack Daniels advert? Or maybe Jim Beam, I don't know. Looks like a commercial regardless, whichever way you look at it. Now the question is, is Hosea still down there waiting for... Oh no, he's not. It would appear... But that quest is now no longer available. Maybe I shouldn't have done this one. I don't know. That's actually quite annoying. Or maybe I have to do this one before I can do anything else. Maybe that's all it is. I have to go to Trelawney and find out about him before I can do anything else. It'd be a little bit annoying if it's true, but... If it is, we just do it and get out of the way. I feel like you should have some, still have some level of freedom to do what you want to do, you know. It was allowing me to do both of those quests before, so... Maybe I've done things in the wrong order, but we'll see. Once we do whatever the heck it is Trelawney wants us to do. Oh my god, oh my goodness. Am I? I'm a marked man in the state of Le Moyne, guys. Yeah, well, catch me if you can, boys. The 
stay the heck away from that battle. We want the Springfield. That's what we want to use. I'll we'll use the Springfield because it seems to take them down pretty fast. Are they going to try and come to my camp, do you think? Maybe I should turn and turn and fight. Just uh, switch up to my Springfield. I think you guys should run away. What's happened here? I suddenly appear to have reached a cutscene, or did it? What's. Why has this happened? I suddenly died? Apparently so. I didn't die. But. Well, that's just a pain, isn't it? I don't think we need to trim anything, but let's just check our chin again. No, it doesn't need trimmed. But there we go. I think what probably happened is because those guys were right next to our camp, the game couldn't allow that, so... It had to stop. It's a shame, because I think I could have probably taken them. Yeah, but you're not getting it. Excuse me? You know. Hair pomade. Hair pomade. Well, yes, I do. Sure. I'll buy you some hair pomade. <laughs> What's he need it for? I've got pomade. What does. So why don't you just give it to him? Sure you do. Forget that he needed hair pomade. I mean, is that some kind of problem? Him wanting pomade? Don't. Yeah, hi. Not really. The only thing I could do is help you, apparently. Sounds about right. Slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think <laughs> I found something interesting. Yeah. Have you? No, never. I would have even thought. Of course, around the <laughs> goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet. Oh, yeah. Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. Yeah. Is there anything decent in it, or is there nothing in it? Like to come with me? I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot well, degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. So where do we find this friend of yours? Rose. Well, let me just get my horse and then. Can possibly go wrong there. In roads. Lead the way and we'll find out. Well, if we're going into roads, that's okay. We can do that. Are we still not allowed to have our guns there? No. But that's okay. Because at the moment, we're doing okay. Well, you know why we ended up down here. It's because we got in some trouble. That kind of stuff, yeah. I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Shares in a gold mining company? Well, what happens if you've got shares in a gold mining company? Surely you're doing pretty well. Especially at that point in time. <laughs> Disappears forever then. I didn't think otherwise. I think that he was uh, a rat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he gets his own, makes his own decision. 
at the end of some rainbow, let me present... Oh, they said it was Yankee gold. So, where exactly are we going? The train station. The clerk there, Alden, is quite a fellow. Is he? We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. Yeah, we can hitch up just here. There we go. What are we doing? What are we doing? Come on. Hang back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare So we gotta let Trelawney do the talking. Okay. He wants me to do the talking. I don't know exactly what talking he wants me to do. But we'll do it anyway. Price at the back, he just seems to keep dropping. Hello, Alden. Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Dandy. How has he been? Like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. We'll just stand here, I guess. Just listen to the conversation. They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The wickedness of bosses. I know my comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the actual fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged They're worried about horseless carriages. They had a little while to wait for them, but they did happen eventually, didn't they? You and I know them of course as cars. Then again, wasn't a train a horseless carriage? I mean, what exactly are we doing here? Pay him? What exactly am I paying him for? Information, is it? Kind, sir. Call him Arthur. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Uh -huh. Well, this is perfect. Looks like one, doesn't he? I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be Arthur could really do with a bath too. Silt water strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah. Sounds awesome. If you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there. Feller called Hector. He's also one of the. What did you call us again? Okay. Men of distinction. That discouraged men. men. I like that. Well, goodbye, oh, doesn't. Discouraged say? men. Josiah. We mean cowards. Is that what he means? What is this? What is this document we're looking at? I thought you might like to see that pantomime. River Road through water strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Oh, I'll follow you, alright. You showed me just where we're going and I'll follow you. What's that guy doing? Like hanging himself up on my horse. Okay, let's go. This way. Just show me where. Yeah. Now we'll have to go at his pace, that's the only trouble. Let's see. All the station workers are in on it. What they're doing the same nonsense you are. They want something on the side. In strawberry, yeah, but we just about killed everybody in strawberry. Yeah. We like murdered everybody in strawberry. <laughs> That's true. It didn't look like we left anyone that would recognize us. I don't think I'd call us celebrities. I think we're more infamous than famous. It was the plan gonna work. Is the plan gonna work? A little concerned as well that we're gonna get like a gang members coming on us or something. 
Okay, this is the spot, is it? I'm set the letter, is it? I'm hoping we won't need those. Better safe than sorry. Hope so too. Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put okay. performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box. Oh, so you want me to and how do I open the strong sneak in and open the strong box? This should work. Lockbreaker, is it? Can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going oh, to okay. wish your earplugs. It's earplugs? Oh, very good, old and very good. Of course, if everything okay, goes wrong, okay. wave your guns round like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. Okay, well, should I not, like, hide somewhere then? Instead of sitting here in front of everyone. Yeah, I'll take my route down here then. Don't want them to notice us. What's Trelawney doing? Just tail the stagecoach. Slow down. Slow down. I hope you don't find my singing. Not at all. I'm preparing. Let the train let the the carriage go away a little bit. Get out of the way. So we're just tailing it just now. So is he going to make them stop the carriage? So if he's going to stop the coach... Oh, we've got to wait for her to exit. Coach Trelawney's looking at. He wants her to sing for him. Okay. She owes it to West Elizabeth. Okay. But this guard, is he looking this way or is he looking the other way? No, he's not. Okay. Let's do this quickly. And hopefully quietly. Take the money. Get the heck out of here, I guess. Get on our horse. And wait for the coach to get moving. Sorry, I'm not sure. That's annoying. <laughs> so sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. Nobody saw me, I don't think. And we'll ride back to Trelawney in just a sec, once that coach is gone. There we go. And we'll see what he's doing, I guess. We managed to fairly successfully loot that stage. It's true, I didn't need to kill anybody. Which was good. Mm -hmm. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Take a cut of that. Go see Alden from time to time. See you oh, soon, jolly Alden. good. 
this is to, te to this helps us learn about stagecoaches that are worth uh, taking down. And obviously that unlocks that as a potential type of quest. So I would assume that that was all that stopped me from taking on this mission. Yes, it was. Okay, so we're going to go back then to Hosea and see what mission he's got us doing for the Braithwaite. Yep. To play them off against each other, you know. See you there, my friend. So yeah, we got to uh, speak to the Braithwaites now, I guess. Find out what they need us to do. Find out what we're playing them off against each other with. Obviously we had to steal those horses before. We didn't get any or near the amount of money we needed for those horses. But we got something. It's better than absolutely nothing, wasn't it? Anyway, let's find out what Hosea's got us doing. Find out. how his plans work. It sounds like he's kind of the, the the cunning strategist of the group. Well, if you believe what Dutch would have you believe anyway. Before I do that, I just want to feed my horse that. I want to make sure I've got the right weapons out. I want the Springfield. Bolt action's quite good, but double barreled shotgun will work better. But we don't need a weapon in our hand right now. Hey, how are you? Meeting with Braithwaite. Thank you very much. As he said, his associates are already here. That would be Hosea and uh, Bill, was it? Was it Hosea and Bill? I can't remember. We'll find out in just one moment. Guy was ready to open our door ages back. Both of their houses are at least staying together. I thought maybe one of them would look like it was falling down. This way, sir. But actually, theirs looks interesting. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello mm -hmm. Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan. Uh -huh. Captain Braithwood. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks. Well, he's surely big, dumb. but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> this is really nice, isn't it? can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've mm -hmm. got money, Mr. Matthews. Gold. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> She ain't gonna pay you with a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. No? Oh, that's okay, then. Just the most beautiful mare on earth. Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. What? What in the world? What are we doing? Hop on. Oil fill you in on the way. No, I'm driving. Fine. Oh, we're in a carriage. What kind of carriage is this? Is it more moonshine or? Ready. Let's get out of here. So we're going to Caliga Hall with this trailer of goodness knows what. Torch their tobacco fields. Great. That sounds like it's going to be a really good idea. Sounds 
So she wants me to pour moonshine all over their crops. No. Yeah. They both said they've got lots of money and stuff, but what if they're both poor, really? They're just living in a backwater. And they've been in charge of everything for so long that people don't don't question it. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, we just took their horses. <laughs> He's got a plan. Uh, extra muscle. They know who I am, though. So if you excuse me, I'm going to put my mask on. Come on, boys, you stay out of my way. Oh my goodness. Way off the beaten track. It's not a great idea to ride off track, even without you being in a carriage. So when you are in a carriage, it's a really bad idea. I'm worried about the greys. Yep, they do. So I don't think it's a good idea if I'm with them. It might be difficult for them. Might be difficult for them. So we're in hiding just now. Go on then. Okay, we're holding it right here. I don't think this is going to go well somehow. There was a thing, a thing at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not delivering supplies. You want a bottle, friend? Here. Have a wee drop. <laughs> a ball of moonshine. I mean you no know, harm. I've come from Donegal in Ireland. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> Conversation's not going to end well. Some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions. I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh. Yeah. Before the officials got there. Okay. Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, Sweet. You show us how to get there. Sure. That's fine, but I guess I'll have to take him out once we're in a position to do so. Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. Fine bit of country you've got here. I'm not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> I guess they almost are. No. Just over here. They're not having much in the way of conversation, are they? It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. You got a lot of deliveries coming in, have you? Looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I never bid a better to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> Good. So, you folks been having a Except I don't think he's ever done an honest day's work in his life. He prefers to rob people. Another family around here. Bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Yeah, so so he says. I'm sorry to hear that. I just think they're all battling each other for no good reason. You don't know the half. Just in the You're not gonna get a drink then, eh? 
Hey, you're going to get knocked out just now. <sighs> you finished. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <laughs> do they? <laughs> yes, they do, but no. Nothing. It's grand. <laughs> it's grand. <clears throat> is this guy going to be here the whole time? Let's see what we're doing here. Because of some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? The there we go. <coughs> Sorry, buddy. Conversation <laughs> over. Hide the body. And then I guess we're ready to do what we need to do. So I'm going to be using some Molotov cocktails. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. Higher. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm going to deal with the fields themselves. He's going to deal with the fields. Moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, Coat everything been shining light out. That old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. How many is that? Two? Three? Look, once they get wind of us, they'll be yeah, no it's going to be non stop madness. Never stop, boy. I'll just bark one of them out of houses. We'll burn quietly. Yeah, don't, don't scream and whoop and holler. Who's coming on the left? Nobody. Oh, I see there's a carriage there. Is that what you're talking about? How would you know that? He, the guy that came with us died. Okay. Yeah, let's not mess about with that. I'll take care of this fella. Good, good. You take him out then. So, where are we going? You close the field. I'll meet you at the barn. Okay. Yeah, try to stay out of trouble, as he says. It's a bit early to be pouring my moonshine, I think. But now is about right. I'll just cross the field. Is that one done? We'll go this way. Then we'll go that way. There we go. A lot of fields. Oh, there's a guy right there. I think there's a field the other side of him, so... We'll switch places, switch sides. And get this done. That's good for here. Another one there. Just do this, walk up this way. Should be enough for here. There we go. Now we need to cross to the other side of there. So let's just see if we can bypass him this way. Where's that guy going? He's going to see us if we try that. I think we'll have to wait till he turns back and then run across behind him. It's probably the safest way for us to get there. I think. There we 
we go. Cross over and we're in. Only the tobacco here is not quite as high. So we might get spotted. Is that field cleared? Looks like we've only got this and one more. I hope uh, Sean hasn't tried to go and get the uh, payroll while he's there. There we go. One more field, or two more fields, or whatever. They're all over here, regardless. Anyone coming? Oh, there's a guy right there. I'm not sure we can cross behind him or not. But well, we managed it, so now let's just do this. And hopefully, it'll be enough to get things done. So now I need to make my way all the way back to that barn. Still got plenty of that moonshine to pour, so let's pour it. Oh, for goodness, how did that even happen? I didn't even have my gun out. I was pouring one minute and pouring the stuff, the next minute I fire a shot. For no obvious reason. Thankfully, the only thing we've got to do now is find Sean. This place. We're going to pour out this because why not? Right, where is the place we're heading to? Oh, there's Sean there. He's in the barn already. I can get in the barn now. He's going to douse this place too. Good idea, you do that. Let's equip some fire bottles. Maybe I should get outside before I burn the barn. Just a thought. Wow. Pretty amazing. Is that burn is that gonna burn the whole field or what? Is that good enough, do you think? Now we gotta take out the guards. Got the Springfield out. And let's get running. Well, where is he? How he says to stay together as he's running away the other way. Was that it? Is that going to burn down all my fields? I'm coming back towards you. There we go. Ow. Someone over there. A bit slow reloading, that's the only problem I have with it. I'm gonna die. Some kind of... They didn't tell me nothing. They didn't tell me there'd be an army of them. I knew there was gonna be a lot of them. Oh, there's a guy over here somewhere. Where is he? Dead, that's where he is. There goes out right out of here. Ah. I should get him, I think. Sure, we can. Right, 
Yeah, there's more of them. One down, there's another guy there. There he is. Stay with me. Got him. Look out. Here come more of them. I'm just not sure that where are they? Dead. Oh, you want to go the other way now, are you? There we go, that one's down. Where'd he go? That's that one down. Let's keep moving. Wow. <laughs> the whole field's just burning. My health core is really not good. Right, get on this carriage and get the heck out of here. Let's have a look. Excellent. Wait, am I supposed to cut the horses free? Okay. Where's Sean? Good man. Yeah, let's ride. Let's ride and let's try not to burn our horse. Okay, let's just keep riding. Straight out the main gate. Come on. Yeah, if you say so. But why he jumped that and I went through it, that's a bit silly if you ask me. Okay, I wonder how many of them saw me. Didn't it? Yeah, it's probably a good plan. Ride quickly to catch him. Well, there we go. So, one side of the quest was to steal horses and try to sell them for five grand. We didn't do that. The other side of it was to burn all those fields. Which you can still see burning over there. I don't think there's money at the end of it at all. You uh, no. Let's go back to camp later. Yep, you're probably right. But we have just burned down a load of stuff. Also, where's my horse? I'd rather have my horse than this horse. Didn't make very much money out of it either, did we? I don't think. But that is all of the questing done for that, so... I guess we're going to see what it is Micah wants us to do. This is the only other quest at the moment. We do have a marker over there, but it's for something that I don't really want to do right now. It's just one of those deck collection ones and I'm not overly concerned about them, you know. And that quest was fairly straightforward, so we didn't have too much of a problem. I don't know what kind of horse this is. All I can tell you is it isn't mine. I would rather have mine. Yeah. 
Oh, he does look like he's uh, a relatively decent horse. Too far away from my horse. I think it's probably over by camp, actually. Well, no. Now I'm thinking about it. It's probably not. It's probably down at the Braithwaite Ranch, isn't it? Yep. What is he doing? Why is this horse turning like that? I thought I'd found a predator or something for a moment there. Yeah, the uh, the. The alien that hunts people, yeah, that's what I meant. What in the world? That was my horse that I just called. My horse that I called just comes running in. I don't need that horse to come with me anymore, I've got mine. Much better. So I must be close to camp, yeah. Go tie up the horse. It. Tie up my horse. Thank you very much. And let's move on and see what this mission's about. A lot of horses about. Not much for us to do in camp right now, apart from just go and find out what Micah wants us for. Well then, Micah, what is it you're wanting? Well, I said, the peacemakers. Yeah. Well, Molly's away annoyed at us again. Is that right? Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Uh huh. Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Lightened the load a little bit. I guess. Gentlemen. What's he done? Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. Yeah, tell us. The O'Driscolls. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Peace with the O'Driscolls. Fat man. I met a couple of the O'Driscoll boys on the road in the town. Uh -huh. about to get ugly, but you know how I am in a fight, huh? Like a corner tight. Not very good. Yeah, okay. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't, but we got to talking, and they suggested a parlay mm -hmm. to end things. Like uh -huh. That doesn't sound like a trap at all. <clears throat> Have you lost your mind? You're always telling us, Dutch. Do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. What we should have done is stop them. It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably yeah. a trap. But what do we got to lose? That's bait. He ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. It's yeah. a trap. You shoot a lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. Neither do I. It's a chance. But we've got to take it. Do you think? I killed Combs' brother a long time ago. Yeah, there's absolutely no way this is on the up and up. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Mm -hmm. mm. As you say, it's a long time ago. Dutch. Yeah, just because it's a long time ago. Yeah, if he holds the grudge. Chances are, Let's go. O'Driscoll holds you the same grudge. With Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. The <laughs> tigers. I left a box of ammunition by your pet. Great. That's good. I could do some ammunition, but not right now. Where's my horse? There he is. Yeah, I never actually looked at whether my horse is male or female. It doesn't actually tell you, does it? And I haven't looked, you know, down there to find out. Okay. 
Well, let's go and uh, hope that nothing bad's about to happen. We'll take the Springfield there. And I might actually put the block rifle, the sniper rifle, in the other you know, place. I think I'm going to sneak around the outside and take out any ambushers. Maybe that's what I'm here to do. I don't think you are. I don't think you're saving lives. Because of Blackwater. <laughs> There's a good deal to be nervous about. Yeah, you say that. Yeah, I've got a rifle. Got this rifle just here. Yeah, I'll just put a bullet in Micah's head. With you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. As would I. Yeah, I know he's a good shot, okay, but you're asking me to Yeah. Yeah, you say that, but there's four of them going that way. We'll probably double back. Where are those guys? I feel like it would have been a good idea if I'd circled back and checked for them. Well, depends in a different way, perhaps. Yeah. It's definitely what you said before. Definitely. Don't know. I don't know. Try. All I ask is you try. If people are using it for their own gains, not necessarily. All right, Cowpoke. You're gonna peel off. I'm gonna peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plane. Find a spot. On the plane, P L E N E. They're meeting down on an airplane, guys. Right. The airplanes haven't been invented yet, so I don't know how they're gonna do that. P L A I N, guys. P L A I N. Where it's a flat area of land, it's a plane. P L A I N. Not P L A N E. A minor peeve. Nothing to be overly concerned about. But it looks like this is where we're camping out. Yeah, you get out of here. Oh, great. Got some corpses of uh, things there to deal with. Right, so there's Micah and uh, Dutch. Where are the people they're talking to? Nobody around. Three of them there. 
Let's see. Anyone else around? Hello, Dutch. Been a while. Is that a Driscoll? Sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believe Not in great. A better world. Pure world. Hm? How's that coming? Yeah, along? yeah. Just fine. Hmm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, like that. Cause like I said, this is a charismatic leader. Yeah. A lot of heat what's on the, us this time. Both of what's us. the end? Dole here. They offered oh, me maybe. price, Dutch. To bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well. So How'd you know he didn't? I am sorry about your brother. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. <laughs> I liked Annabelle. Yeah, I don't think he cares. Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. He likes that he likes ladies. Is this thing over? Hmm. Guess not. There was obvious something like that was about to happen, wasn't it? Oh, they think I'm dead? No, they don't think I'm dead. I can't defend myself against them. Have I got anything I can use to kill them? I uh, don't think I'm going very far. He didn't kill me. Oh, jeez. I think Arthur's in some serious trouble here. If he survives any longer. Can I not, like, attack these guys? I'm hanging on the side of his horse. Can I not just roll off? Guess not. I got no guns, I've got nothing. Finally. Put his weapons over there. Put my weapons over there. Okay. It's drifting in and out of consciousness. And I've been put in a basement. With everybody else? Oh, here's uh, Colmo, Colmo Driscoll. Question is, where is the where are the other guys? Where are the other guys? Oh, lovely. Tell you what. Why are you still running around with old Dutch? Because he's a decent person, and you're an ass. No. Charisma. Interesting. Yeah, you're right. I'm lying. There you well. The way I see it, they get him. They forget about me. They get you think so? Him. I don't think so. If I were you, they'll take him, I'm and then they'll take you out with him. Oh, I know you would. I see. You're an angry Dutch in to rescue you. Grab all of you. Hand you. Why? Why wouldn't you just grab them? Uh, oh. He wanted, yeah. He gonna be so mad. He gonna come raging over here. Yeah. That was a trap for me. Arthur. Arthur. I missed you. 
fuck off. I'm gonna beat us up in our underwear. Don't like Arthur's chances. Well, let's see, what's the next time we're gonna wake up? Doors open, there's light. Question's going to be: Am I going to be well enough to catch him? Got to do a bit of swinging. Got it. Oof! Nasty little landing. We've got like an original Jason Voorhees uh, sackcloth on our head. A lot of people don't realise that, that the original Jason Voorhees costume was a sackcloth. Uh, guess we're trying to get the bullet out. Is that it? We got it. One shotgun shell. Oh my goodness, he's going to do it this way, the shoulder, with some gunpowder. That should be fun. Come on, Arthur. Carrize your wound. Even though that's like probably the most painful way to try and do it. Now if I can hide... You're dead, buddy. You thought this was going to be easy. You got a gun? Guess not. The only weapons we've got are throwing knives right now. None of my stuff is here. Let's just take our time. Oh, we've got two guys. Okay. So we take that guy. It's one down. Now can we take this guy on the side? Yep, yeah, that's two. Yeah, if you've got a cattleman revolver I'll have it. Let's try with throwing knives because that seems to be the best route to uh, take them out. They seem to have some trouble dealing with that particular. Problem. There's one more guy. Just, there's one more guy that I can see. I'm just wondering whether this is a good idea. Problem solved, I think. But where's all my stuff? That's the question. Is it inside this? I think it's inside that shed. That's well, not my stuff. Is my stuff here? Where's all my stuff? Nope, nothing in the chest. Well, there it is. What about my clothes? Any chance I can recover my clothes? Okay. If I can now restore my health levels, that'd be quite nice. And again. I guess we're just trying to escape. That's not my horse. 
Where's my horse? Oh, that is my horse. Let's get the heck out of here. That's my horse by the look of things, so let's get my horse out of here. We've got all our guns. Let's ride out. Better be careful though, because I don't think Arthur's going to last very well. And it looks to me like uh, going to be in some trouble. Oh, what the heck? There we go. Just ride, don't... Ah! Just ride, come on. Let's hope that we uh, get back to camp before the trap is sprung. We'll just ride as fast as we can, I think, at this point. Try and get away from the O'Driscolls. If the camp's even still there. Oh. Now he's fallen unconscious. On his horse. So the question has to be, do we get back? Or is Arthur completely done? Probably having a really nasty sort of fever, feverish dream. Because that's probably exactly how he feels. But it looks like we found camp. So that's not so bad. I'm back. It was just a conversation they had. Question is, yeah, I told you it was a setup that my boy, yep, my dear boy, what they got me, but I mm -hmm. got away. Yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah, I did. I need help. Reverend Swanson's gonna set the law on us. Oh, of course, he wants. I'm sorry, Arthur. Yeah, it's a bit late for a pop. That's what he was doing. Swanson, Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Well, let's get him to bed. Yeah, but these two idiots, Micah and bloody whatever the butcher's name is, tie them up and put a bullet in their heads. That's pretty tough. That's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. You take Micah and the other guy and just get rid of them. Or I'll do it when I wake up. I wonder if I can do that actually. So now I'm watching a deer. A day in the life of a deer. A few weeks later. Weeks, guys, weeks. Oh, he's, he's my facial hair's gonna have grown to an extreme then, surely. No, I'm going to have to shave the centre again. That's a pain. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, take care of yourself. Yeah, I will. I should tidy myself up to begin with. Obviously, he's got a bad shoulder, but... That's kind of to be expected. Alright, let's get a shave on the go. Okay. So what we want is to take the chin right back to there.
What do you think? I reckon... We keep the chops like that. Well, let's leave it just now. Pomade is here. Although it might need a cut. It might need a trim. I think we could only trim facial hair in the camp. Did I change my clothing? Uh, do we have any outfits that we can try? I like the costume I'm wearing though. I wonder if I change my... Where's my tricorn? Yeah, it's there. Uh, did I steal any hats? I got all those hats on a horse. The hat I want is that one just now. Uh, my coat, if I go to that. Where's the one I'm wearing? That one. Okay, so that doesn't make it cleaner or anything like that. Well, I don't actually think I want... Why did that happen? I didn't want that coat on. I wanted the shotgun coat on. I know why that happened. Okay. Where can you have a bath? Is there a place you can have a bath here? Or do we have to go into town for that? I think he has to go into town for that, doesn't he? Health, ammo, and donation. I think what I'm going to do is get on my horse and head into town. And it looks like Bill's got a mission for us in there. Uh, what I need right now... What do I need right now? There was something I wanted. I don't think it was there. Oh yeah, it's the place with the bathhouse, isn't it? I don't know that this town has one. I'll try and go to the saloon there and see if it does. But I don't think it does. Which is annoying because Arthur, well, let's be honest, he's been lying in a bed there for two weeks, apparently. Morning. Morning. He needs his hair trimmed, but that's obviously something different. Let him have something to eat, something to drink, whatever's required. We'll put the Springfield there. And the double barreled shotgun there. And let's take those two revolvers. But I want the Springfield to be the one that pops out when I tap my button. So yeah, uh, we've gone past a bit of the story there where obviously Arthur escaped from some trouble. Oh, is that still white? Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, so obviously we got out of Arthur out of some trouble. I think this takes us on to the next kind of chapter of the storyline. Seems to be a bit active here, whatever's going on. Hope it's not Bill getting involved in a big gunfight. That wouldn't entirely surprise me.
Let's take our horse for a little ride. I wonder actually. Give the horse a little brush. It'll help raise his trust in us. So once we've done this, we'll have a look and see what Bill's wanting. But there's the bar. Wondering if there's a bath in here. Okay, that's, that's one way to get off your horse, I suppose. Wait just a second, what was that? Oh, well, I'm not going to use my weapons, so it's fine. Isn't it? Am I about to be, like, shot up or something? Is there a different entrance I'm supposed to be using? Or have I, like, killed everybody that runs it? Let's find out. No, I didn't want to be in behind the bar. You want to be in front. Inside the bar. Let's see if they've got somewhere for Arthur to take a bath. Is everything upstairs? What's going on? There appears to, so the only thing we've got here, it looks like, is a card game. Which even though the place is completely empty, is still going on. Yeah, blackjack table. There's a bath, see? But how do I pay for it? Am I not allowed to? Could just be because there's nobody inside. That's quite annoying though. There is a bath. But it would appear you can't use it. Unless the guy behind unless the bartender can sell us on it. Now how can I ease your trouble? Uh oh there we go, yeah. There we go. Arthur wants a bath. I'm going to do that, because he's been lying in a bed for like two weeks. I'm not going to get involved in any fights with them. Or anything like that. Because after all, Arthur's supposed to be on his best behaviour in roads. Well, that guy's going a bit over the bo overboard, isn't he? Yeah, he definitely needs to be clean. I think the best thing to do would be to start with his head. Can I offer any assistance? Uh, sure. sure, yeah, why not? That's what Arthur asks for. Good choice, good choice. Good choice. You're saying the same things more than once. If it gets cold on you, holler. She's a little different from the other ones. It's good that they made all these people different, I suppose. I'll have you looking dandy real soon. Uh, yeah. I nearly married once. She never bathed me. Well, Ooh. this bath's got you quite relaxed, don't it? Oh yeah. So, how are you doing? Yeah. Well, you know, not much to fuss about. Better conversation than some of the others he's had before. Gotta take a break sometime. Life's too short. Mm-hmm. Right. That's all the conversation we're gonna have. Uh, this is the first time I've been able to relax in ages. I'm sorry to hear about that. I don't think she really is, to be honest. You seem like a clever girl. Sure. Let's 
still used to being insulted by everybody, so... I guess that's it, though. There are no more conversational options. So let's just get out of the bath. Now, does he look any cleaner than he did when he went in? That's the question. Does he still have that red mark around his neck? No, he looks as good as he's going to get, I guess. As good as he's going to get. Let's get him out of here and go see what Bill Williamson's up to. Make sure he's not causing any problems. Smashing through the doors. I do like that. I think that's quite funny, smashing through the doors like that. I don't suppose a lot of people might, but... I think it is quite funny just going full pelt at every door that you see. Which is great when you go running at it and you just slam into it. Let's see what Bill's got us doing. Hope he's not wanting me to rob a bank. There he is, Luke. Yeah, what exactly are we doing? We're meeting a couple of the greys over at the saloon. Oh, are we? They got like giant eyes and three fingers. We might just make this the last one, the last mission we do tonight. Uh, before we finish up. We're still looking for all this gold. I don't even know exists. Yeah, not yet anyway. Oh, it was Braithwaite that asked us to do it. Yeah, clearly. Yeah, it definitely doesn't feel right. Definitely doesn't feel right. Okay, I wanted that. The Springfield's a lot quicker at getting rid of them. There we go, that's that one done. Is he dead? Just blew his bloody head off, is he dead? Well, I shot his hat off, but... Yeah, it's not exactly uh, very sportsmanlike of you, is it? Ah, keep missing him. Every single time I take a shot, I'm missing that guy. Who else? So they were playing us like a fiddle all along, were they? Why was I not aiming? Seems like I'm not allowed to aim my shots. Well, I'm trying, but... Once I've got this guy, then I'll be ready to go. We're going in. Go do that all over again.
Well, this will be the last once we've done that. Okay, here we go. So we got to go around the back of the gun store. That's why I died before. We're going to... Oh, looks like we've got no choice about what weapon to use. There we go. There we go. That's one down. I'm getting sloppy. I just woke up from. Where's that body that I was going to loot? There he is. I think they might be on to us. You're kidding. We're switching to shotgun. Let him come. There he is, Luke. some targets here if we can. Uh, one more. Wait, take that guy down. There we go. Got a guy over there and a guy on the roof there. He's gone. And there's one more just there. They might be running away, but I just let him, didn't let him go any further. Get some rifle cartridges. Just leave that body. Well, you're the ones that started shooting us from behind. May as well make the most of being in this gun store. Who's worse than us? No, not for much longer. Who's just saying that the Greys will be in charge of the city forever? Well, they could have been. If they'd thought not to attack us. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm on my way. There's an awful lot of bodies to loot. I'm coming. But there's an awful lot of bodies we can get some money off of. I guess we're not going to be able to do all of them because there's quite a lot of them really. We'll loot this one. I guess we may as well just move up. Where's the sheriff? You want us to come out? We're yeah. Right. Is that right? 
I just shot Bill right in the face. Wow. <laughs> Didn't do too badly there. Those sons of bitches, eh? Let me see. They set us up once before. They've set us up all the time. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you, same as Hosea. He's the one that got you almost killed. Get rid of him. When things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty. Can we just no finish him? I've ridden with you boys close on what? Six months now? And all you yeah, you got me almost play. killed. You can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Bill, take the boys. Can we just finish him? Proper someplace quiet. Smack you. We rescued him for no reason as well. Speak for a moment. He will be. Where is he? Can we not just get rid of Micah? He's just a pain in the ass. He always has been right from the beginning. What fun we had riding together. What a goddamn mess we're making of things. All he's managed to do is get that kid killed. So let's have a quick look around. Dutch wants us on a quest there. We're not going to roads at the moment. But there's also no bounty on us. I guess if you've killed their sheriff, there's not much they can, not much they can do. Okay, guys, well that's going to be it for tonight, I think. Um, so until next time, hopefully tomorrow. Uh, thank you very much. Remember if you find a good go live here to Twitter, and uh, whatever comes to super hunters, and whatever comes to super hunters to watch it live. Uh, YouTube, we're gradually blown to. Tune in again next time. Drop a follow if you